Creativity is an addiction. Learn to listen to it. Sometimes you can trust it. Sometimes it's your worst friend. It keeps you awake at night. You know, the 4 a.m. God, as Stephen Furtick called it. But maybe, maybe there's something there, and I'm sure there is, that you should be paying attention to so that you can grow through the storm. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. My father used to slam me with, you can rant and rave all you want, but I ain't listening. That's what my dad would tell me. During my chapters with my father, his word was always the final thought. I'm not so sure that he would do well with today's carelessly shaped world, where everybody can be heard, loved, disrespected. Empathy has evolved into a verbal exchange. I know you are, but what am I? So many want to believe the unbalanced walk is influenced by social media, the digital rhythms placed on your pages, things that may be of interest. Then all of a sudden, you see yourself buying into another idea. I'll never forget Mr. Wonderful on the TV show Shark Tank. He was telling somebody, I'm not interested in your product. I want your followers. See, I will try not to rant and rave, choosing to relate with rather than breaking up. Very few of us are Cam Newton. We aren't going to get a second chance with the teams we favored most. But if we could, how would you act and react? If that one place that you were just weren't feeling good about, so you left or they departed from you, but you were given a chance to go back. Would you respect that moment more? I know that uh, between 2005 and 2006, I was away from terrestrial radio. I was doing other things. I thought, okay, this is it. I'm done. But somebody gave me an opportunity that I had waited for for many, many, many years, and I said yes to it. And so when I got within the four walls of, of the new age of terrestrial radio, not as a jock, but as a production director, I was in charge of the commercial making. I had a newfound respect for the industry. I got that second chance to be able to prove that, hey, there's more to me than just the performance in between the song lyrics. And so I ask you in this same situation, if you could set aside the ranting and the raving and find your heart in a place of where would you like to grow? And can it be back in the places that you once were? I mean, look at what just happened to better.com. Did you see that in, uh, in, in social media? Here, here's the big CEO, the big tough guy, the decision maker, gets on there this past week, and he says one thing. If you're receiving this phone call right now, you've been terminated. I get it, man. Things change. I totally get it. They, they grow these companies, and they plant people's real lives inside their success, and then the people that brought them there are let go. Because that's the way of corporate America. Trust me, the terrestrial radio company that I was with did the same exact thing. It just seems to be the one thing that these businesses do. So why are so many people, 4.4 million people, leaving their careers and their jobs like they did last month? Because inside their heart, they carry the poison. The poison that was planted by big business America. And because if you don't do as I say, like I written, you know, I know I am, but what are you? Well, they know what they are and you better be one of them because if not, I got to go. I got to go. So if there could be a place where you didn't rant and rave, and I do pray for all 900 of those people that took that hit from that CEO from better.com. And now you're trying to figure out what in God's name is next in this world of continuation of uncertainty. What in God's name is next? I'm praying for you. I want you to be able to grow from this. I don't want you to rant. I don't want you to rave. I invite you to find the peace. What did you learn within those doors that has made you a stronger individual? I mean, you relied on them because they gave you the paycheck. They relied on you because they needed the work. But now that you're on your own, you are the decision maker. You have been given the power of choice. I'm Aram. And that's stream thinking.